With the announcement this year on reviving the area by Windseeker and Giant with the Lakes of Pavilion and Wild Mouse in some Riot locations, it makes me think about other ways we can theme the point. I'm Lindsay, and welcome to the first episode of HNL Blue Sky. What is HNL Blue Sky? So, in this series, we are throwing Leo's out the window, nope, not dealing with NIMBYs, not dealing with restrictions. In this case, the park video, I'm not going to worry about specific rides. This is definitely more long term, and there might be some flats on my count of fears that the park is only going to get, and we just don't know that yet because they don't even exist or they're not even announced yet. Starting with the rest of the main midway, could easily get rehabbed over the next few years because it looks very dated. Could fit in well with like an extension of that boardwalk theme. If not, scrap and talk for just a new flat and they move the castle that's there to Frontier Town or by Gemini. An idea I had for the Lost Palooza earlier is to move Tiki Twirl, now Calypso, next to Ocean Motion and do a Pirate Town facade to like the back of the Starbucks and stuff. Plus a demo bit of that old gift shop to spread out some space for the Mac Shack seating. That, I've had a clean those tables and the ad is cramped AF. Like, that is definitely not fit for social distancing. As we from the Castle to Pagoda and Allianz, I think the area is fine for a while until they decide to build a new coaster or dark ride between the Employee Gate and Raptor. I've also thought there could be a bit more where they don't need to use the whole space, where they could move either the Employee Dining Hall or Park Services Office, and then open up the area behind Raptor Station and the whole warehouse space there, maybe they could put another show building right there, or more flats. So the idea for the dark ride is would be kind of going off like Erie Sisters a major shipping lane, and would still give Ocean Motion some sense of being right up at the front while offering a way for guests to cool off and author something the park doesn't really like have. They don't have a that other side, 120,000 square feet filled behind like the restaurants there, like Hugo's and the old Picnic Grove. But again, you could put some staff stuff in there and have it be 50 to 70,000 square feet. See so if like kind of a good plan of spreading out water rides. I think having a water right at the front of the park would not be a good idea because people are not really going to get wet first thing in the morning or, you know, want to do it at the end of the day. Better to put it probably, but also they probably would replace Ruger or Iron Dragon. That would probably be a good spot for another water ride or possibly removing course or putting like a mock power splash or something there in instead, even though it wouldn't be able to take advantage of the whole corkscrew element. But I do think the park might at least want to look into that. If we do see a water coaster, it would replace Snake River Falls and Skyhawk, as I would rather see that be moved somewhere more in the front of the park or given to like a smaller park like Worlds of Fun. It looks like they don't even put more focus in that park. So, you know, moving an older flat ride from another park would probably be a good idea to help bolster some attendance. Between Corkscrew and Gemini, that probably would be the uh, next way to go, barring a been crazy like what happened with dragster i always had like an idea when get val raven thinking you know, being over there it's like not raven iron dragon rougarou they all have like monstrous themes you could do like a land of monsters like medieval thing because they already did that or with like tales and stuff across from celebration stage so we call like fit in one of the medieval themes because you already have the uh, dragons in there too you know the change doesn't quit quite really fit with being Victorian. So I was looking through map Street View and there used to be a path connecting area where Val Raven's first drop is straight over to Iron Drag, which he has like twice which times the queue space, but they removed it for the theater and it's like sometimes it's still spilling out of the midway and it's only like thirty minutes. Blue Street could easily be rethemed and given some like a major overhaul at that point. It's only focused on like doing a lipo or theme like it could be themed to a siren or something. I was thinking put it in pair on nebulas where the celebration stages, and then there's a little bit, you know, by the restroom, so it's like a storage area right there, but I wonder if one of the main issues, like, actually it was where Wildcat was, but I'm thinking, what if one of the main issues there is it's kind of like a floodplain? You could rebuild that up into a theater. It'd be a bit smaller on the celebration stage, but, you know, it can get a little clogged there, so putting stuff a little to the side, that would be a really good idea. But again, if we demolish the park service and move it over, we could add a few more flats, like, Adding a magic bike and new restaurant place, Chickies and Pete's. That building been there for quite a while, and sure, it's still nice in videos, but maybe it might be a nice time to knock all that down and start again. I think this is the only time where both enthusiasts and urbanists Bruh. regret parking a lot as a land use, not just unesthetic inconvenience. 
I mean, they've been moving a little bit and they, like compromised to make a bit more room for that theater there. Next area was for Frontier Trail. I kind of start kind of thinking like they doing like a whole sort of like sci-fi theme with Millennium Force area, but they would have to rethink Red Garter and Panda Express and probably two tweets as well, but I wouldn't really be that fussed about that since it's already very wooded there and the upper area where Millie is, both a black dot. Guess your weight thing and a few other games. They could remove the old time phone, just make that a queue space for a smaller flat ride. Up there, I don't think that would really help. There is another access point by the restrooms for that break area. So I don't think that's much of an issue. If not, we can still try and do something aesthetic that fits with Frontier Town, because there is some more steampunk elements. Although people probably would be mad losing this whole space toaster theme and going more steampunk. But I do think going more steampunk, but just keeping the name might be the best way to go or it's about 20 years old now they might want to do a massive overhaul and anyway again I just like blue streak might as well do a whole re-theme and stuff the whole steampunk thing yeah it could go really either way based on how things go with the land of monster stuff and keep from celebration plaza up to the tunnel there hopefully like 10 15 years vacoma will retrack mine ride or we'll s again i definitely think they want to keep they would replace mine train with a new mine train because of the whole Western theme, and it would be a new family ride. It would still be a family ride. Hopefully, a Vekoma one would have a slightly lower height requirement. But the thing is, with the whole boardwalk theme over by Windseeker Giant Wheel, I feel like Gemini has the exact same vibes. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll see any changes over in that area until Gemini was removed, unless they move the carousel over there, not getting squeezed in. Oh, they could try and extend Frontier Town a little bit just to make snake river you know work better there see about kids coaster and plant snoopy team partners once said that they could fit a become a junior boomerang over there and that would be another good kids coaster and i think if they do that i wouldn't mind stealing the name of wonderland's new kids coaster before the accident i've been thinking of a whole like sports theme the dragster midway but again they finally gun the racing motif out of dragster so that might change things up but we'll see what that brings in 2024 but for now like dragster obviously like with racing power is like bungee jumping or parachuting himalaya is skiing and corkscrew is the type of thrown baseball however this whole thing can be thrown out of the window in a year or two cap off the area we can replace power towers q with its sampella super air race and we could theme it to like Stunt pilots, although we always can't use that name because of a certain uh, <laughs> raptor out in the middle of nowhere. The idea is like military, and like use like name like flight deck or something. With Guam also filling that spinning void, I think Extreme Center is off the table. And with the Itchy Steel Curtain, might be a bad omen to collab with a sports team. Although that would solidify going this, to the sports route for the Dragster Midway. Trying that whole thing off, but we're just going to need to see if you're the Dragster regular from San Perla. There's still a lot of questions surrounding that area specifically. There's a lot of other ideas that can come up in Blue Sky, but right now I have a lot more trans ideas in Blue Sky with SEPTA and sort of like a video response to the second episode of Park on Transit that I just realized the other day. But those will be coming out in the new year. Until then, comment and subscribe. Strike to the bell, good night, and good luck.